students of Reddit, what was your school's big scandal? A 16-year-old sending nudes to a 12-year-old in a Baptist school. In middle school the athletics director was caught putting cameras in the girls' locker room. Not my school, but the small town high school where my kids now attend. Married female office admin sexes up a female student. Goes to jail for a few years. Ten years later husbands of both women find out they have secret cell phones and have been carrying on a relationship off and on since the older one got out of prison. Turns out my geography teacher was a pedophile with several thousand accounts of child pornography on their computer. The biology teacher was having an affair with the principal. It's downright wholesome to see age-appropriate sex scandals in schools. In high school the female dance teacher had a sexual relationship with a 15-year-old female student. The dance teacher and her husband had a threesome with said student and videotaped it. The husband also got a tattoo of the 15-year-old girl's initials. Pretty f***ed up shit. A string of deaths three years in a row, was finally broken when some guy jumped out a two-story building but lived. We had a senior, male student in my high school who knocked up a freshman and the Spanish teacher within like a week of each other. Dios mio. My history teacher blackmailed the girls who weren't doing so good on his class. He exchanged good grades for nudes. A woman with severe medical issues both physical and mental deficiencies snuck away from her group home and hid in the broom closet of our cafeteria for two days. She ate all of our garlic bread, took someone's jacket, and walked out 36 hours later. This was in 2007. We didn't have cameras or anything and no one saw her go in or out. They only knew she was there because the jacket had the name of the high school and when she was found she straight up told the police she had been hiding in there for two days. The group home said she had been missing for roughly a day and a half. Parents were upset obviously but nothing changed until last year when the school shut down due to low attendance admission enrollment. Had a few. High school math teacher got a DUI on a tractor and was fired. P and CS teacher had an affair while both were married to other people. They eventually both divorced and ended up marrying each other. Accounting teacher married a student about a week after she graduated. Rumor was that they were already sleeping together when she was 16 and she was pregnant before graduation as well by the teacher. A couple bomb threats. My sophomore year of high school the gym teacher's brother gets hired as the computer teacher. Nice guy. Was personable. Not as much as his brother but still. Two thirds through the year he just vanishes and most of the teachers don't want to talk about it. Eventually it gets out that when he was in college, the computer teacher got into a bar room brawl. During the brawl he took a pool ball, put it inside of a sock, swung it and smashed a guy in the head with it. The guy who get hit had permanent brain damage. The school found out midway through the year and that is why they let him go. Can you imagine the thought process it would take to conclude that your best course of action in a bar brawl was to take off a shoe, take off a sock, stuff a pool ball into it, and then hit someone, wow. This was 10 years ago, my first day of high school. I get home after school and my mom is watching the news. A senior killed his social worker with a chainsaw and then stabbed his mom a couple times. After that he went for a walk and listened to music. They caught him all bloody and everything. I've posted it before but having a hard time finding it. Anyways. An English teacher slapped a kid in class and retired that week. My high school did a block lunch where everyone ate lunch at the same time instead of separating them into A, B, C lunches. Because our cafeteria couldn't fit the entire student body, it was normal for kids to be eating in the hallway, on the floor, or at tables all throughout the school. One day during lunch, unbeknownst to the staff and student body, our app decided to hold a lockdown drill. He got on the intercom and told everyone there was an active shooter in the cafeteria in order to see how kids would react had it been a real shooting. Turned into pure anarchy. Kids calling 911. Running out of school and not returning to class after the drill was over. Kids having anxiety attacks while hiding in classrooms. Dying calls from students to parents. It was pretty bad. Should I mention how this was several days after the Parkland shooting? It was in 2007, but my high school had a string of bomb threats. 
there was a bathroom where no cameras could see who went in or out. And someone wrote in Sharpie across one of the stall doors. There's a bomb in the school with that day's date. The school was evacuated. And we all went home. For the next few months. There was a bomb threat seemingly every Friday. We'd be in the middle of the first or second period. Then we'd all go home. After we missed enough days. We all had to come in on several Saturdays. And the bomb threat stopped. There was a white kid who had a black baby mannequin to take care of for a week for some project to see if he would be a responsible parent. He hung the baby on a tree outside of the school, expelled and made news on the local paper. That not much. This actually came out during my last semester there, but it had been happening for years. One of the English teachers had been having sex with a few select students every year. Most were football players. It got really weird. When I had her class it wouldn't be out of place if a student from another class asked to go to the bathroom and just went to her room to see her. One day some kid brought her a drink from McDonald's because he was late to school and got breakfast. It only came out because there was this one girl who was in an argument with her for some reason and said something along the lines of, that's why you f*** your students. And the whole incident got brought up to the office and they interviewed everyone, found out she'd had sex with multiple students for the past few years. Teacher sucked a kid's dick during my senior year. He showed a few people the video. Then he proceeded to move to California. She still works there to this day. Empty balls make safe halls. This got more attention than I thought so I have to credit Andrew Schultz for the joke. The summer after I graduated, the principal was caught propositioning underage teenage male prostitutes. Some kids didn't want to take a state-mandated test so they lit fireworks off in the bathroom, but they didn't realize how quickly they would explode and all three of them got burnt. The whole school had to stand outside for hours. When I was in primary school, nine years old, a kid from first grade caught my teacher and the principal doing it in his office. Mrs. Prabapal and Principal Skinner were in the closet making babies. And I saw one of the babies. And then the baby looked at me. Not a scandal, but my entire high school was put under lockdown because there was a rabid squirrel on campus. Chemistry teacher spilled mercury in the lab at my high school. She tried to clean it up herself which only further contaminated the lab and didn't tell anyone about the spill. She was arrested and it cost the school 60k to have it cleaned up. Don't know what happened regarding her charges. Happened at my school too. Another kid and I had to clean the chemistry lab for detention in 7th grade. He spilled about a cup of mercury stored in an open beaker on the floor. Science teacher made us clean it up by scooping it up with index cards. This was in the late 80s. Never reported and absolutely no one gave a shit. Completely different time man. Someone baked their grandma's ashes into cookies and fed them to students. The headline was cookies and cremation. Shame. I'd have gone with, another one bites the dust. Teacher sent nudes to a kid because the kid pretended to be a different person on a dating website. Teacher left. Kid was expelled. Someone burned down one of our buildings. Oh I forgot all about the student crime. In middle school a kid broke in one night to the building with the library. He piled up a bunch of books and set them on fire. Plus he stole some stuff. One of the things he stole was a t-shirt from a fundraiser display. He got busted because he wore the shirt, a shirt no one else would have. Two years ago, a senior brought in a sex doll for Secret Santa. He then brought it to the senior room and essentially had a fake gangbang with it with 20 other people. That's just group masturbation with extra steps. At the end of my senior year, we had bomb threats about two to three times a week. One of them was written in lipstick on the mirror of one of the girls' bathrooms. It said, Bomb Manana. It was so ridiculous. Shit like this had us standing out in a grass field for hours while the police checked the building. Were they trying to say manana? Lol. Some students put pins into the sewing teacher's coffee. Luckily the teacher was okay but it definitely could have been worse. A bunch of seniors were having a graduation party in the woods. One of them passed out drunk, rolled into a six-inch deep culvert and drowned. They didn't notice he died until morning. 
a girl got pregnant and told everyone the father was our English teacher. Turns out, nah, no one even knows who the father is. Her included. Girl attempted suicide in the girl's bathroom. Guy got caught having sex with a teammate in the locker room after practice. Three girls caught snorting cocaine in the bathroom. Someone was boinking a teacher but we never found out who. Teacher resigned. Someone put red hots in the hand dryer in the boy's bathroom and it caught fire. Four years of school. Three fire alarm pulls. Growing up in a 3k population town in the middle of nowhere was crazy as hell sometimes. These events were over my four years of high school.